What is going on guys? This is El Karloff back here yet again bringing you a brand new episode of our Spiral the Dragon walkthrough and in today's video uh, we are going to be starting the Dreamweaver's homeworld which is my personal favorite in the entire game. Uh, as you guys may have noticed, um, I kind of mentioned it throughout the Let's Play so far. Um, but in this world guys, there's this basically there's this guy shooting a cannon um, and it, it has like uh, different magical abilities like uh, for instance, it'll shrink or enlarge these en uh, enemies. So that's one thing that you're going to have to take an into account here. And uh, in order to get to this section of the map, we're actually going to have to um, go and take out that enemy on the cannon and then use the cannon to uh, shrink the enemy so we could kill him. So it's pretty cool. This level is really uh, interesting. <clears throat> and you can't take out these big uh, skinny guys with that. You could take them out with your flame breath. Oh, we got Dark Passage over here which is another great one. Um, basically all the levels in here guys are some of my favorite in the entire series uh, or in the entire first game. Let me turn my volume down a little bit. Okay so let's wait here. Let's knock this enemy right off here. And I think the music in this homeworld is probably the best in the game as well. I love, um, what's that one? Their Haunted Towers has some great music as well as Dark Passage. Um, also, Lofty Castle is my fa probably my favorite level in this entire one. And the boss is fairly simple. His name is uh, Jacques, I believe, or Jacques, whatever, however you pronounce it. Something in French. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, we got three enemies lined up. We can take them out really quickly, just like that, nice and simple. Also, there's another variation of enemies on this level, uh, which are kind of like... They're kind of like shrinking enemies, or not shrinking ones, they're um, like clock enemies. They look like a clock and you you have to basically use them to get to platforms on a timer. So I'll show you what I mean when we get to this next island. But here we go guys, we're going to go up here now. And this is where the main cannon is. It's right up here. And then let's go and kill this enemy. Perfect. Okay, so now we could actually push this. Uh, let's see, here let me get this gem first. And then we'll push this cannon. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Okay, so that that was the first one. Now we're gonna have to go over here. We got one. And there's another one. Perfect. And I think that's all of them in this level that we're gonna need to actually shoot. So we're probably good. Okay, guys. So there we go. Now we got all this stuff done. We could go get this dragon. And then we'll go and take out this island. This is the first one, Zakoma. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I toasted that nasty north. <coughs> All right, <coughs> number 59, guys. Um, we are making very good progress. Um, we're pretty much almost done with the game. Um, I think in this video, I'm probably not going to be finishing the entire uh, world of Dreamweavers, I, or not the, like, all the levels and stuff, I'll probably split it up into two episodes. Uh, this one I'll probably do Dark Passage or something. That level is pretty, uh, oh, son of a bitch. I took my first hit there. Haunted Towers is really cool. Um, let's see, let's go, yeah, here we go, this is the guy that's on the timer. Um, as you can see, once you flame him, he basically turns into, like, a clock. And then we're able to use, uh, the secret area, the secret platform. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds alright to me. Alright, number 60. We're at 4 minutes so far, so it's a nice quick video. This video will be up on Sunday, guys. I'm also planning on live streaming maybe some Ghost Recon. Um, and also I want to do God of War Episode 1, maybe today. Uh, so you're, you're just basically going to have a lot of different content that's going to be up tonight. Oh wait, I actually don't want to go here. Wait, is there a gem over- yeah, there is gems over here. There we go. Haunted Towers, you also use that same ability, as you guys remember from, uh... What was that one mission? I think it was on Magic Crafters, where we had to use that- the fairy kissing ability. And when we got that uh, secret, like, special ability, that flame breath, that we were able to take out the, uh, spiders in the cave or whatever. What the hell was that? I think that was High Caves. That was the name of the level. I can never remember the levels on Magic Crafters, the names of them. Alright guys, but we got everything in here. Now we can head back and go to the next sec the next section of this homeworld, which is all the way over here. And we'll pretty much be done. 
really simple. Um, one of the reasons why this homeworld is actually my favorite in the game is because of the vivid colors. Everything is like really, really bright and uh, magical looking. There we go. Okay, so we got all those. Let's go ch take a look around here first. Because I know there's some stuff that we're missing. We got some gems back here. Let's get this. We got a fireworks crate. Let's see. 300. Okay, so we're almost there. This is Latif. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, yo. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected. Prepare for what is not there. All right, 61, guys. So far, so good. Let's go get the remaining gems now. There we go. And uh, I think out of all the homeworlds in this game, this one is probably the most Spyro-like because I, I just think, like, the floating islands and everything gives it that mystical or uh, magical vibe. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Lofty Castle. That's my absolutely favorite one. I think we have the speed boosting ramp that returns in that level. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, wait, does it? I can't remember. We'll have to go do that level maybe in the next episode or something. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go up here. Get the remaining gems. We still have one more of these time sections, so it's going to be pretty easy though. There we go. Oh yeah, these guys are really annoying. Perfect. Yes! Okay, we did it. Alright, so we got all of that. Now let's go over here. And this level is... Oh, this is uh, Icy Flight, which is a really cool flight level. Um, I believe we still have one more, which is in Nasty's World. I think we have one more flight level. I can't remember exactly. Okay, guys, let's go over here. Let's see. What other gems are we missing? We're definitely missing a big chunk of some gems. I can't remember exactly where they are, though. <clears throat> Let's go over here. I wonder, I think we're actually missing it on this side of the map. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we got one here. Yeah, here's uh, Jacques Hughes. Or Jacques, however you pronounce it. Let's see, did we get it all? 300 out of 300, yes. Perfect. Okay, so we're done with this level. Now we could go back here, and I guess we're going to go do Dark Passage, which is a really cool level. Um, it should be fairly simple. And then after that, guys, um, I think I'm going to cut the, uh, my video off because I want to basically get this up quick tonight. Also, another thing I wanted to mention was I saw the new Avengers Infinity War um, today, actually, on the 6th of May, and it was fantastic, guys. I really love the movie. It was a long movie, but uh, it was really, sh it, it really uh, went, like the storyline progressed really quickly. So I wasn't really concerned with the time, the length of the movie. All right, there we go. And these guys, you basically have to, uh, you have to watch out because like these turtles and stuff, once they get really big, it's hard to kill them. So the whole theme in this level is keeping everything lit so that these enemies don't go berserk on you. <laughs> and these dogs will turn into killers. Oh shit. It's kind of messed up that you're actually killing dogs in this video, in this level, but uh, I don't know. I guess it's on me because of oh shit, they have a strange sense of humor. <laughs> they like to kill animals. They like to kill sheep and then all these other animals. <laughs> oh man, we got turtles and dogs in this level. Really cool though. The music is definitely one of the best soundtracks. The enemies here could be quite frightening, but you should watch the fool. I'd rather play the fools. Now you're thinking. <laughs> okay. And so far, guys, it's been only almost 10 minutes. Also, these are another annoying enemy in, in this section, which is uh, Dreamweaver's homeworld. They're really kind of tricky, especially on Lofty Castle. These, like, devil creatures. They look like Cupid. An evil Cupid. <laughs> there we go. Let's get that light going. Now we can kill this dog. <laughs> you gotta watch out, they turn into these red things here, so you gotta be careful. There we go. And then they're basically, you can't kill them, so... Be very careful here. Alright, kill that 
freaking turtle. Let's see. Yes, triple kill. Alright, already at 100 gems, I think, yeah, 500 gems in this one. So it's a lengthier level. There we go. We got a ZZ. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, god damn it. Saying the typical, thank you for releasing me. <laughs> okay, let's go get these guys. We got some more dogs up here. <clears throat> oh shit. Stay back a little bit. There we go. Alright, so we're doing good so far. For some reason, I feel like there's a secret level, or a secret area in this level, that we're still missing. I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah. Shit. Okay, yeah, we, uh, we have this, uh, chest over here. As you can see, this level's huge. Look at this. All these different areas and stuff. It's really cool. But let's basically... We're gonna wait here. Aw, oh, you bitch. Alright, we definitely need to get a mushroom guy. I feel like it's Mario. <laughs> there we go. Extra life. Now we're at 23. Holy crap. We got a ton of extra lives. That's always good. Okay, the dragon, which is Bakari. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Mashino. That's me, all right. <coughs> okay, guys, 64. We're making great progress. Let's get these gems. Let's get this. And I forget where we have to go now. There's definitely a whole other section somewhere. Where the hell is it? This is the part of, uh, of the level that always gets me. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look. Oh, we got a fireworks thing over there. We already got those dragons. Hmm. Let's see. There we go. I think this is the next spot. Wait, what's this? Let's see if there's any gems we're missing up here first. No, I think we're good. Okay, guys, let's go and do this section now. Yes, perfect. We got a, a double 10 gem here. There we go. Another 10. Alright, so far so good. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Freaking, I can't stand these things. These are probably one of the most annoying enemies. Take that, bitch. Alright, so far so good. We get Sparks back up to his golden... his golden state. <laughs> <clears throat> Another fireworks cluster. Alright, and now, guys, we have to basically go over here. One, two, three, four, yes. Awesome. Oh god, guys. This is gonna be tricky. I forgot about this part. Hmm. There we go. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> As you can see, I hate those freaking turtles. They're so terrible. Alright, we got this little wind, wind, whirlwind section. I can't talk today. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. There we go. Let's get this. Yes! Okay, so far so good. Now let's make one more pass, guys. Try to get all this stuff. There we go. Oh man, this level's so sweet. It <laughs> brings back so many memories. Got a double chest over here. Oh shit, I totally failed. Okay. Got another dragon. And we're pretty much almost done. This is Apara. Thanks, Spyro. 
I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate being trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry. The only one who's going to be trapped is him. <laughs> Alright, 65. We're making really good progress. <clears throat> Alright, now we got this little turtle. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. Son of a bitch. Okay, come here, bitch. Fucking bastard. There we go. Alright, now let's go over here. Oh, we got double, double dickheaded turtles. <laughs> I hate those freaking things. They kill me so many times. These guys aren't... They're really easy, honestly. Okay, we'll go up here. And I think this this basically should bring us all the way back to where we want to be. Come here, bitch. There we go. Let's get all these gems. Now we're going to go here. And thank God we got some mushrooms. There we go. Let's get this dragon. Another one. <laughs> we got a lot in this Thank level. You for releasing. 66. We're almost done. Let's see. I think we have to go here now. As you can see, there's uh, the, lo the level design in this one is really complex. There's a bunch of different sections. Man, let's circle back around. Let's take out this Cupid. Take that, bitch. Alright, now we'll get the remaining gems in this area. And then we'll make it back to that firework thing so we can destroy that chest. And then I think we're good, guys. We're almost done with the level. Be nice, a nice 20 minute video. I know Haunted Towers and Lofty Castle as well as Jacques, should be fairly simple to complete, hopefully. So I'll do that in the next episode. Alright guys, we'll launch this. And let's go and get the final chest. Which should be right here, hopefully. Are we missing something? Please don't tell me. Oh yes, 500 out of 500. Perfect. Okay, um, so we're done guys. Basically, we could just exit the level. And in the next video, I'll do the flight level as well as the boss, and we'll go to Lofty Castle and Haunted Towers, and then we'll be done with Dreamweavers and head to Nasty Nork and finish the game. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching my favorite homeworld. Uh, oh shit, I didn't want to do that. Um, but yeah guys, in the next video we'll finish this world, and then we'll head to Nasty Nork. Have a great day everyone, stay tuned for more.